Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about a show that I'm sure that everybody would have heard of providing you're a 90s kid or more and this show is of course The Amanda Show. Now The Amanda Show started in 1999, so sort of the back end of the 90s and something that you would have watched as a kid if you were around, I would say about 7, 8 plus and it ended in 2002, ran for three seasons and it is an American show and just briefly in case you haven't heard of it, it is a sketch show starring Amanda Bynes basically um, she's basically she's in every sketch and there's a few other actors taken in and everything um, just to sort of bulk it out a bit but it is basically Amanda's show given the name of the, the title The Amanda Show um, and there are various sketches um, puns on other shows and things like you've got um, there's one called Block Blister which is um, like a comedy video store um, which is obviously a pun on blockbusters um, there's Judge Trudy which I know is a big hit with most people um, which is obviously a pun on Judge Judy um, and they have Dancing Lobsters which I'm sure most people will remember the big red Dancing Lobsters they were weird but um, entertaining to say the least and um, there was like they were like made fun of commercials and things if I remember there was like race car pizzas and race car underpants and things like that um, very childlike humour but um, that obviously fitted the target audience and things but still very funny and um, there was also the hillbilly moments, which is where there was a knock-knock joke and somebody got hit on the head with something, a skunk, a hammer, a stick, random things like that, um, which again is child humour, but it's quite entertaining. Um, there's Moody's Point as well, which is probably one of my least favourite sketches actually, but um, basically about a girl called Moody and her mum's in a hot air balloon and things like that, so it's um, weird. Um, the Girls Room, now that was probably one of the biggest hits of the show I'd say because it's one people still talk about and actually there's a lot of um, reenactments on YouTube if you just do a search for The Girls Room and um, The Amanda Show there's loads of people doing their own versions of The Girls Room which I think is really good and quite nice that they're still doing it all this time after the show's ended and that's basically four girls, five, four? I can't remember but the, the, the girls in the um, girls room basically and they're all different and um, you've got the stupid one, the popular one, the one who's tough and things like that and it's just basically they dominate the girls room it's nothing too detailed but it's still um, incredibly entertaining um, now probably one of the most famous characters in the show is Penelope obviously played by Amanda but this girl Penelope was completely obsessed with Amanda she'd go through her trash cans, she'd stalk Amanda she'd want to meet her in pretty much every episode she'd get this close to meeting Amanda and then Amanda would go away um, and this Penelope has a website which is amandaplease.com because Penelope says please after everything um, and this website is actually still active I was surprised to find out that it's um, still going I thought it would have been shut down but no it's still there and on the website there's like um, photos, video clips um, there's a section called Ask Penelope as well where people have um, emailed or written in asking Penelope questions now I doubt that's still updated because there's four questions there and it's been the same four questions for about six years. But um, have a check it out anyway and, you know, try emailing in so you might get a response. There might be somebody there at the end of the line, I don't know. Um, but that's, um, you can get it through amandaplease.com. Um, but I think you can also get it by nick forward slash Amanda Show or something like that. Um, but it's worth having a look at and it's definitely a great show. The show was actually created by Dan Schneider who um, has more recently created things like iCarly and Zoe 101, not my type of shows, but um, it's good to, um, you can sort of see the format and how it works and things, so it's really good. Um, actually, if you do a YouTube search for The Amanda Show, there's loads of clips. Um, I believe they're still showing them on Nickelodeon, but um, I no longer have Nickelodeon, unfortunately. But um, I think they're still there, and I think you can buy some of them on DVD and things, but I think that's only region one, but I could be wrong, so check it out on Amazon, you never know. Um, and if you've never seen The Amanda Show before, um, you know, maybe you're not a 90s child or maybe you never had Nickelodeon or anything, um, do a YouTube search because you will love it. Um, I, think if it I think if it was a show that was brought out now, it wouldn't do that well, I don't think, because the preferences of children have changed now. They prefer shows about vampires and things like that. But back then it was fantastic and it was definitely a sort of, in my eyes, a starting point for Amanda Bynes because, I mean, she's gone on to great things now. Um, but yeah, go and check it out and things, and um, um, leave me a comment and things, let me know what you think about the show, and as usual, feel free to um, leave video responses, I'd love to know your thoughts that way as well. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye guys!